before we even start, make sure you're subscribed. But secondly, I know you guys are going to want to know what hair I am using. Please do not forget to click the drop down. The link will be in there for the hair that I am using today. All right, y'all. So you guys probably have noticed right now, like the hair changed like a little bit ago. I really enjoy wearing my hair in this textured bob. But to get this look, I do wear clip-ins for added volume. So I'm going to show you guys today how I put those in. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. I got this hair off of Amazon. It was like, mm, I don't know, maybe $30, $40 max. And I got a bunch of clips. I'm just going to show you the how many I use today from that pack. So overall in the pack, I believe I got like 10 clips or so. And I only use one, two, three three four five so like half um so i'm gonna show you so this is what they look like in so i'm gonna take them all out okay y'all so actually i lied i have one two three four five six clips in total so this is what my hair looks like without any of the clips in. As you can see, the hair is still curly or not even ooh, curly really. It's more so like fluffy, um, but it doesn't have as much volume. I also use the clips like for places where I feel like there are gaps because I like my bob to be like pretty even. So before I even put the clips in, I kind of prep my hair for the style that I want. If you're interested in like a full routine of that, head over to my Instagram. I show you how I blow dry and straighten my hair and kind of get it to this texture. So um, these clips already kind of have these curls in it from because um, that's how I've been wearing my hair lately. I don't curl my clip ins that often. I wash them maybe like once a month or so. Um, you do have to keep your clip-ins clean just like you have to keep like your hair clean because they're going in your head. Um, so other thing I will note is like these are a little bit darker and I have a little bit more of a red undertone in my hair but that's okay because like once I put them in they kind of blend a little bit more. Um, so I start off with the bottom layer first. I never start off up here and I kind of just start like right above my ears. And that is where I'm going to place my first row of clips. I have my two prong clip here. And snap her in. Boom. As you can see, she kind of levels out with my hair. Okay. I already kind of have some volume going now for the other side i have one that is three clips and it kind of bridges the gap so it's like two right here and it ends like right here and then i will place this one like kind of next to it and clip it all the way around You want to make sure it's a good grip on the hair that you're not clipping like far down on your hair um, so that you're not like tugging at your hair like freaking it out. So that's our first layer. Kind of feel where that one ends and then I go up a little bit. We have another clip. This clip is noticeably longer than the one before. So like I said, the higher up we go, the longer the hair gets. So this one here. And this is a three prong one. Not my whole lash lifting off. So we just gonna have to finish this with one lash. I'm not about to stop. Okay, so. You know, I have to stop and put this lash back on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Intermission. Okay, so now we're about here. So like, as you can see, like this hair is a little bit shorter um, or my hair is a little bit shorter. I actually, you know, I feel like I could rock it like that if I wanted to um, without adding additional clips in. 
but I am going to add in these two like single clip pieces. These are my favorite to use like at the front or at the top of here. So here lately I have been wearing my hair like tucked behind my ear and I like that. So I'm just going to place them a little farther back to add a little bit of length, but still kind of towards the top. So. I'd be hard to clip y'all okay like that so it still like gives us a little bit of length up here um but it's not like bulky up here because I find like if you place clips too close up here and you like to pull your hair behind your ears it will look very lumpy and bumpy up here so if that is the way you like to style your hair just kind of place your clips a little bit farther back and comb it out i sleep with my clips in because i don't have time to be taking them out and putting them in every day um especially when i'm going to work so like i'm going to be going back to work soon here <laughs> wait for me y'all um and i don't have time in the morning to be like taking clips out and putting clips in every morning i will not um so yeah that is how i put my clips in um, and I find that these clips that I use, I feel like a, you guys have asked me a bunch of times on different videos, like how long do the clips last? Um, I would say they last about three to six months. After that, I feel like it's time to throw them out and get a new set. That is how I put my clippings in and I style my hair in this like little textured bob. Like I said, I do have a more in-depth video on my Instagram if you want to see like how I blow dry and flat iron and all the products that I use head over there do not forget to subscribe you guys and thumbs up this video if you liked it thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time